you guys would like to watch, I do stream live on Twitch. Link in the description. Alrighty, what is going on, boys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hung Jury Adept. Now, this is the weekly Nightfall reward for this week. <clears throat> I believe it is the Corrupted Strike. And uh, you can get that to drop from here. And uh, I believe this is one of the only actual decent scout rifles in the game. It's a 180 RPM. And the fun thing about this is if you manage to get box breathing on it, you are able to three tap at a 180 RPM. Now, the thing about it is you do need to aim for like almost a full second. I'm not sure how long it actually is, but it's almost uh, unusable on a map that's not like Widow's Court. Uh, I wasn't able to get too much gameplay with box breathing actually functioning, but it happened once or twice. You know, I'm not, I'm not ADS long enough for it to make an effect. So, you know, it didn't go too, too well. Now, if we take a look at the stats in this thing, it has a absurd amount of stability on it. And that is completely due to these two perks, polygonal rifling and steady rounds. So I don't have a god roll. I don't really know what you would want on a scout, considering, you know, you wouldn't really need range because it's a scout rifle. So I guess stability probably is the best option. And uh, for a scout rifle, I don't really know what mod you would really want to run. So I'm just throwing on Adept Icarus for a little bit more range. And if the off chance I do jump with it, you know, it's there for the option. Now, I am going to be pairing this with a Shotgun and Dragon Shadow. And the reason I'm running Dragon Shadow is because, you know, it's the best exotic in the game. You can't really go wrong with it for any class. Or, my bad, any weapon. So, you know, pairing it with a Shotgun and a Scout is probably the best option. Just for the handling speed for if somebody's running up on you and you have a Scout Rifle out, you're not really going to win that engagement. Alrighty, that should be enough talk from me. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, you know, Endless Veil with a Scout Rifle. I don't really know how this is going to go or if this is going to go. You know, I can attempt. Okay, I'm going to horoscope this for a second and get the... Oh, that's not going to work. All right, there we go. Absolutely beaming these dudes. Love to see it. That's tough. It's a very small map, but, you know, it might be doable. There's some kind of long lanes like this, you know? This thing's kind of performing. I'm not gonna lie to you. It kind of hits. I want to try to activate the box breathing. You gotta aim for, like, a full second. You know, you kind of lose radar. That's Didn't know that guy was there, because, you know, radar, but... It does make it a three-tap, so if you are in a long-range map, it's very easy to do. I'm just trying to see if it is usable on a smaller map, you know? There we go. Nice four tap. This guy's one shot. There we go. Go ahead and reload and fly this dude. No, he's coming this way. Two tap this guy. See if we can clean him up. There we go. See, there's the box breathing helping out a bit. All right, this thing is actually not terrible. Especially for a scout rifle actually doing well on Endless Veil, which is surprising. Got to clean that guy up from behind. Don't mind me. It, it's got some decent hitbox on it, I'm gonna be honest. I'm actually enjoying using this thing. There we go. The hip fire is not bad. You know, being able to use Adept mods is pretty nice as well. Doing what we can. There we go. Some more beamage going on. I'm kind of disappointed my shotgun didn't kill that dude. I keep re-challenging this. There we go. What's this guy at? There we go. I'm going to kill stolen, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. Get the cleanup going on. Go ahead and... Oh, that's tough. I don't like that one. Nice little double baby. Let's go. End it off. Oh, he tried to freeze me, but... Didn't go too well for him. Not a bad game at all. That kind of showcases it pretty well. It's a small map, you know. Didn't do terribly. I'll take that. Alright, normally I hate this map, but it could go well with a scout rifle. 
That man is AFK. Got a pulse. Outgun the pulse. Love to see it. Making moves. He's got jumps across here or anything. Oh, he's on the right. AFK. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. I'll take a trade there. My shotgun kind of whiffed. I don't really know what's going on with that one. It is a little tough to use a scout compared to other things. You know, it's kind of like a situational thing you use depending on the map. But, you know, it can, it can work well. Go get some nice cleanups here. You are definitely going to have to play off the shotgun a little bit when they get close, like this. Because, you know, you're not really going to be able to use a scout rifle there at all. You know, at that range, it's definitely doable. Might be able to hold this heavy area. It's the biggest lane in the map, so it's definitely worth sitting around here. Somebody behind us? There is. Why this guy with a shoddy. There we go, we got the nade off. I didn't actually think that guy was going to die from that. No, he's weak. I got to fly this dealer shot and get some chip damage in. Perfect. Let's even clean this up here. He's going to slide that. Saw that one coming. Uh, he's lagging a bit. I don't know how I feel about that one. You know, that range is definitely tough to do. But, you know, I made it work. Uh, okay. Shotgun whiffed, but, you know, that works. Well, tried to clean that guy up, but kind of got yoink. Oh, he just ran right back in the lane anyway. Well, tough for that homie. A decent double cleanup, though. Not too bad. Shotgun didn't want to shoot, so I almost took that L, but he missed, so... It works. Hello, sir. Not a bad game. Definitely take that. So it's a little tough to use at certain distances, but uh, it's definitely not terrible. So I'm not disappointed.